The Open Campus Airdrop is part of a larger initiative centered around the Open Campus Protocol, which empowers communities to create, co-own, and promote educational content using blockchain technology. The protocol's native token, EDU, plays a key role by enabling functions like governance, payment processing, and on-chain revenue sharing. Participants can earn this token through airdrops, which incentivize educators and community members to get involved. To join the Open Campus Airdrop, users can claim 100 EDU tokens through official links provided by the project. To maximize their earnings, participants are encouraged to engage with the community, follow the project's social media accounts, and complete any tasks outlined by the Open Campus team. The vision behind the protocol is to leverage blockchain technology to enhance the way educational content is created and monetized. Educators can earn revenue for their contributions via publisher NFTs, ensuring that both creators and co-publishers share in the rewards. The EDU token has already been integrated into various educational platforms, including TinyTap, a well-known app in the education space. Now, many are questioning whether the Open Campus Airdrop is legitimate. As for the Open Campus Airdrop, it appears to be legitimate based on multiple verified sources. The fact that it's integrated with Binance, a reputable cryptocurrency platform, adds to its credibility. Additionally, the project's use of blockchain to support educational content and its collaboration with platforms like TinyTap further reinforce its legitimacy. However, as with any airdrop, it's crucial to stay cautious. Make sure you're using official channels and never share sensitive information. While the project looks trustworthy, it's always wise to conduct your own research. That's all for today's airdrop video. If you found this information helpful, please give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the latest airdrop opportunities. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching.